I had uh, four vo broken vertebrae at L1, L2, L5 and S1, so down the base of the spine. My pelvis was broken in seven places and broken in half completely and both my elbows were broken. So I, I had and spinal cord damage at L1 in, in the spine, so it paralysed my left leg completely. My right leg, I have about 90% strength, some loss of feeling, but I can feel most of my right leg. The, the choice to do triathlon again took a while, but uh, I think I, I never had to make the decision that I will, I'll, I will keep going or I will try to do this or I'll see if I can do that. Uh, it was more, I never really believed that I couldn't. I didn't only want to beat other wheelchair athletes, I wanted to beat everybody. I wanted to beat all the age groupers, so I'd enter races where I could race alongside age groupers and beat as many as I could. Uh, once I got the taste of it, I just wanted to keep going. So I won my first uh, World Championships in 09, and then yeah, once, once you get a taste of something, you just want more. I just thought this is this just has to has to be mine. I, I have to have it. And you know, the five world championships is, is something that I'm really really proud of. But the Paralympics, Paralympic gold would be not a level step up, but a greater step up from that. Is something I'm really putting a lot of focus on. Oh look, I just love the competition, and um, it's. When I, when I first got into the sport, it was the, the buzz, the adrenaline of the racing, the excitement of the competition, win, lose or draw when, you, when, I, when I didn't win, it was that, that push to, to try and win. And I think as far as injury or disability or anything like that goes, I, I sort of live by the mantra that you, you only can't do something once you tell yourself you can't. That's, that's it's give up point when, when you say you can't do it, well, that's it and you're the only one that can say that to yourself. I, I can understand how athletes, when they come on television and they retire and they get a tear in their eye because they're retiring, um, it's something you become so attached to and, and the more you get, the more you want. <laughs>